The cardinal chirp. I'm par- uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in there. <laughs> I'm just- And I'm yeah. Paris. Welcome back to, to the, the cardinal, cardinal chirp. chirp. I'm Jesse. And I'm Paris. So, Jesse, how's your week going so far? My week is going really well. Sports and baseball has been going really well. I'm oh. excited. NTC Sorry. term is going on, so it's sadly it's going to be the end of the season soon. Um, then that means basketball conditioning is going to start. So do you like jump right in yes. from baseball? There's not a day break. Not even a day. You the just night, the night that baseball ends, open gyms start the next morning. So you're going to have to be up bright and early right after a game, basically. Yep. Wow. Mm-hmm. You got this. I will. I'll definitely be at some of the basketball games this year, so I'll cheer you on. Where's the baseball? You're a senior, so you're going to have one of those, like, big head cutouts that people, like, throw yeah. up in the stands. Yeah, I'm ready to have one of those big head cutouts. <laughs> we have a good pep club this year. We are. Because, like, for baseball, it's, like, really different because, like, there's not yeah. really a pep club because it's outside and stuff. Yeah. But inside is really fun. It is. Like, the atmosphere at the games is unmatched. It's so much fun. And this year I'm excited. I'm a crowd enthusiast for the pep club. So I'm going to be helping the pep club get super hyped, super excited. Yeah, Miss McLaughlin's our, like, pep club leader. Uh -huh. um, she, like, made new spots for, like, a pep club enthusiast. Yeah. And then there was, like, Cardinal... It's Cardinal something, but, like, it was just one of the leaders in the pep club. Yeah, I feel like this year we have, like, so many new roles within things. Like, there's tons of opportunities for kids to do different things. And, like, with the certain skills that they're good at, like, I'm so excited because I'm a loud person and I love to cheer people on. So I'm, like, crowd enthusiast is perfect for me because I, I love to hype up the crowd. So. I agree. Excited for that. So anyways, how's your week going? Oh boy, it has been a whirlwind to say the least. Uh, yeah. Kind of went downhill yesterday, um, but I'm still here, so that's good. But I got in a car accident yeah. yesterday on my way to CEO, and I have to say I have never been in an experience like that where my life has literally flashed before my eyes, and it was so... It was so scary, um, but at the same time, like, I was just, like, I had faith that everything was going to be fine, and I don't know. It was just an experience that made me really take life, like, all day yeah. and all after yesterday, I have been thinking about my life. I'm like, life is so short, and we wake up every day, we have our schedule, we have our calendar of what we're supposed to do, what other people are telling us to do. And sometimes we forget to just live, like to just live and be happy in the moment. And so that has changed my perspective a lot. And going forward, I'm definitely going to make some changes in my life um, to just live in the moment and really be thankful for the time that I have. So that was really deep. I'm sorry. <laughs> but do, do we want to break? For you really? I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay. Good. okay. But, we'll cut that out. yeah. Um, so, I basically hydroplaned um, and got in a car accident. So, definitely be safe um, whenever you're out on the road in any kind of condition of weather um, and just really be alert of your surroundings. Um, so, yeah. But we were talking about this a couple of weeks ago on the podcast. I remember our Life 360 debate. Yes. On, you know, should kids have, like, 360? Is it... Like, I, I think every single kid that I know that has it complains. They're like, why why do my parents have to see where I'm at 24-7? Or, you know, I'm sure I've said it before. But I was, like, deep down in the ditch, and you couldn't see me from the road. Like, ten cars drove by, and I felt so alone because no one could see me. And I called my parents, and I was, like, freaking out, and... They were literally tracking my Life360 to find me, and that's how they found me. Like, it would have taken them forever, because that road is, like, the same, going all the way down on the Diedrich blacktop. So, be thankful that there is an app out there called Life360, and that your parents care enough to want to know where you're at to be able to help you when you're in a situation like that, because I believe it, it definitely saved that time of finding um, 
me, so mm -hmm. definitely a good thing to have it. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. So going off to a good note, yeah. we have fall break coming up. It's on yes. a, we have the Thursday off, we have the Friday off, and that Monday. So we'll yep. have a big weekend. Yes, we will. Um, and then during all that, parent-teacher conferences will go in there. Don't think my parents have ever had a parent-teacher conference. Really? No, it's been probably when you were in grade only school. Only the mandatory ones. Yeah, like in grade like, school when you're I don't supposed think, like, to go. I don't think like my teacher has asked. That's what I mean. We to, need to see Jesse ASAP. We like. need to see Jesse's parents. There's an issue. <laughs> yeah, Jesse was definitely a troublemaker growing up. Nope. I don't know. I remember. I did some funny things. Yeah, you did. Growing up, you would always, like, wipe your hand down my locker after we were, like, sweating in P.E. That and was And I, I cried in eighth grade. Like, Jesse made me cry. And then I think you actually felt bad for doing Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. First of all, I did as a joke. And second of all, <laughs> I don't remember. But, like, it's okay. I, don't, I don't even remember that. The thing that you remember that, it just amuses me. I don't remember that at all. I just was an emotional child. I'm just a little emotional. <laughs> what am I talking about? So I just remember stuff like that. But I forgive you. It's okay. Yeah. It was it was all for fun. Not you weren't trying to hurt my feelings. So. If I would have went back and said one of the funny things I did in junior high, that is not up there. Really? No, not at all. See, like I just I remember that. Like I was so frustrated with you. I was like, why does he keep doing that? Um, but. Yeah, another cool thing that's coming up is Fall Festival. It is officially October, which means at the end of the month, the last weekend of October, we're going to have the Fall Festival here in Louisville. And you'll get to see the pageant if you come out that night around 6 o'clock. Um, you'll see the Junior Miss, Little Miss, and Miss pageants going on, um, which I'll be retiring this year as the Miss Fall Festival. And then on Saturday, we have our Future Miss pageant, and I think we have a tractor pull slash... There's a lot of stuff. There's like a there's, race going on. We'll so probably have stuff. more details when it comes up closer to time so you can know what to sign up for and to get involved at the Fall Festival. The biggest change is instead of having the 5K in the morning, it's actually a glow, glow run after yes. the pageant Friday night. Yeah, so that's going to be really cool. Really cool. Really cool. I we, thought that was neat. We have to run it for basketball and... Oh. Is that your workout for the day? Like, coach is like, go yeah, run, guys. Yeah, it's exactly <laughs> what he says. But, like, it's always, like, weird because Friday night is a late night because of the pageant and stuff. So then yep. you have to wake up really early to do the thing. But now, yes. but now I don't have to wake up early. So it's, I have yeah. parade and then crowning, and then that's it. Yeah. Well, you got to go to Rotary and yeah, get their Yeah, I do go to Rotary. I do go to Rotary every year. I do go to Rotary. So good in the morning. Go get some pancakes. So good. So very excited about those fall events that are coming up. The biggest thing going on right now is Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Kelsey. Travis Kelsey, yeah. that Chiefs player. Yes. I know a little bit about football. I got my football bracelet on today. I'm a Swifty. I I love Taylor Swift. <laughs> I think she's I think she's good. No, like she's I like great. her. I I really loved like her old songs growing up. Like I was a major Swifty. I think she is a great singer. And hopefully we don't lose listeners to, for this, but I just think she's a little overhyped. Nope. I think that people kind of idolize Paris, her crazy. just a little bit. I think what she's doing is great. Her music's awesome. I just think people, like, who wake up every day and, like, they're always in Taylor Swift and T-Swift this, nope. T-Swift that. Nope. Like, don't make it like, your whole lifestyle. Like, like you said, you, said she, you liked her when she was older. Well, she took all those songs on the shoulder and made it Taylor's version. Okay, that is cool. No artist has ever done that. Exactly. I like and the that's why she's tour. So good. Yep. That's cool. That she is, is authentic really and, and real. I like that. So she the, makes her own songs too, Paris. Not a lot of does. people do that. That's true. She's a write, She's a writer and a singer. So she's she's pretty good. So when Taylor Swift went to the football game, she actually raised the female viewers of the game by like what? a significant amount. So like. So did they have her like on the camera or well, like, like? Like most like arenas do like celebrity camps oh, and like I since didn't know that. since she's actually dating a football player she's gonna be on it a oh, lot. Oh yeah. So and like. she's Taylor Swift. Yeah, and it's Taylor Swift, but <laughs> apparently she's overhyped. Um, I don't mean it in a bad way. So the article we've got today is Taylor Swift may not be 
a cheer captain, but she can sure boost the football team, even from the bleachers or the luxury box. The singer attended her rumored boo, Travis Kelsey, drew 24.3 million viewers, making it the most watched game of the week. So going back, she actually, so 63% more female viewers. That's crazy. That's, that is a lot. Like, wow. So people don't think she's overhyped. Jesse, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I just, I think people just over obsess her so who's, a who's, bit. who's your favorite girl singer? Probably Lauren, Lauren Daigle. I don't even know who that is. She's a Christian singer, and she's got some really good songs. I'm hoping to go to one of her concerts this year. I've been looking up the dates. But she is, like, such a free-spirited, like, I don't know. She's really cool. I like her. So when Taylor Swift actually went to the game, Travis Kelsey's jersey went up four times. That is, like, a lot. So that means, like, probably girls wow. are wanting to wear his jersey probably. Wow. They're like, ooh, that's Taylor's man. I want to yeah. wear that jersey. <laughs> that's funny. That is... So she's actually going to go to more games. So the Chiefs the Chiefs are already, like, a really popular team. Yeah. So now, like, they're now going to get female viewers, too. Mm -hmm. So it's going to help them even more. So funny story about the Chiefs. Do you Have you ever heard that song? It's called Red Kingdom. Yes. And it's like, rock them it's about, to it's the about Red them. Yeah, it's about them. Kingdom. Yeah. So, growing that's up... That's song. Sh what? That's the run-out song. Yeah, that's the run-out yeah. song. So, growing up showing cattle with my sister, we showed Red Angus, right? So... One day she had that song playing in the barn, and I was like, what is this? Like, I really like it. It's like hype song, you know? And it said Red Kingdom. Well, I was thinking, like, Red Angus. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, this song's made for people. And then I, I listened to the lyrics, and I was like, something about cleats and something else. Like, it is such a good song, but it's a hype-up song for Red Angus, Cattle, and the football team. Like, I mean, you could even say it's for... I mean, the Cardinals, because we, we have red, but we don't wear cleats, because our sports don't. Baseball. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Not in it's, Paris, it's not okay. knowing her it's okay. it's fashion okay. wear for sports teams. It's okay. <laughs> Moving on to our Cardinal Challenge. Our Cardinal, cardinal Challenge this week will be give someone a compliment, no matter what that is. Yeah. Hair looks good. The haircut looks great. I like your outfit. Jesse, um, you have a good smile. Like, that's a yes, nice compliment. A like, just go around, compliment someone, something that you like about that person. Just let them know that they're appreciated and that you're recognizing them. Yes. So, yeah, definitely do that this week. So, this week we're going to be talking about our classmates and what their role is. Mm -hmm. um, me and Paris is obviously being the anchors of the Cardinal podcast. Chirp. Of the Cardinal Chirp. Yeah. Um, Jake, Jake was like our musician, and Daniel, he helped with that also with our intro, so our intro song is actually made by us, which yep. is good, so we really thank Jake for doing that. Mm -hmm. Olivia, Olivia is our social media. Videographer, she helps with everything social media wise, because what? I don't know how she does it, but I can, I could not figure any of that stuff out. Like if I have a social media question, I'm going to live. Because I don't know how that stuff works. So all those TikToks, those were all her. Yes. She told she us what an to awesome do, job. and she got it done, maybe thirty minutes. Yep, super quick. Next, we've got Dawson and Sammy. Um, so Sammy helps with kind of typing up the sports every week. Yes. She does a lot of um, that for our scripts so we know like if we're needing to talk about certain things. Dawson also helps typing up different stuff um, that we need for the script. Um, Alyssa, she also does that too. Mm -hmm. Like everyone kind of chips in and we have our own things we do with the script. So Alyssa's big thing also, she like she's like working on getting us more interviewers. That's what she wants. Yes. Yeah, yeah like finding doing. people to interview who are free and just getting different yeah. times to, to talk to them. So she helps out with that too. And then Maya, you guys met Maya. She just videos most of the time. That's all she does. Yep. Got the headset on. And then Miss Cox, our teacher, basically runs it all. Yes. She supervises it all. She is 
Wonder Woman. Like, she works so hard for the students here. I mean, I had to come in and print something after school the other day, and she was still working hard on t-shirts after school, so she puts in so much mm -hmm. work to support our students and anything that they need help with. She's always positive whenever we come in here, and I just love that about her. So, we have fun yeah. here in broadcasting. It's probably my favorite class. It, it is. It's very fun. Yep. Um. So yeah, we gave our cardinal challenge, and yeah. um, hopefully you guys will have a good fall break, not spring mm, break. Fall. <laughs> fall. Um, and hopefully you get to maybe do something fun with your family or your friends, and just enjoy it. You know, relax and enjoy life. Thanks for listening to, to the, the Cardinal, cardinal Chirp. Chirp.